Hi, my name is Aisha Lay. I'm doing this video because I received a lot of questions on Facebook and Instagram regarding my situation about my son. On December the 1st of 2014, my son was murdered by my ex-boyfriend. My son was two years old and his name was Josiah. Although I received a lot of questions, I've only chosen a few to answer. Um, the first question in which I was asked was, is clubbing your way of dealing with what happened? Well, I'm 19, so I still go out and have fun with my friends, but it does take my mind off of a lot. My next question that I got was, how do I stay so strong? I receive that question a lot. Um, I simply pray. I receive Bible verses every day. I have a lot of support. I still receive messages, calls, everything. Like my support system is the best. My next question that I got was, do I regret leaving my son at home with my boyfriend? Of course. Um, of course I do. Never in a few years would I think something like that would have happened to him while leaving him at home. Um, the same person also asked me, do I have anyone else that watches him? My son's two grandmothers, they help out a lot, and my aunt, she helps out a lot, but I'm getting older, I didn't feel like I should have to depend on other people to watch him when I live at home with my boyfriend. My next question was, do I plan on having any more kids? Um, at first, no, I didn't want any more kids. I didn't want a boyfriend. I didn't want to have sex. I didn't want nothing. Um, I'm getting better though. Um, when I become more successful with my career, I do plan on having another child. Um, but as far as right now, my main focus is on helping other children. My next question that I got was, do I forgive him? Um, they say that you forgive, but you'll never forget. Um, as far as this situation and what he did, I don't feel like I could do neither one of those. Another question that I received was, do I really believe that God makes no mistakes? Um, at first, I didn't believe it. And I used to always question why or just simply why. Um, as of now, um, I've learned that he doesn't make any mistakes and that everything that he do is for a reason. So I'm still a work in progress on that part. Um, my last question was, am I doing okay? Um, I'll never be okay, but I do try to stay sane. Um, my son was my everything, um, and uh, I'm still learning how to cope with everything um, as far as mentally, um, but that was my baby, so I can never be okay. I smile and a joke and I have fun but my pain will last forever. Losing my son to abuse has really opened my eyes to a lot of different things. So I've decided to start a foundation called the Sire Foundation and which stands for Saving Youth Against Harm. My mission and vision is to simply make people aware that child abuse is happening in today's society very often. However, with the help of our community, we may not be able to stop it, but we all might save a life. My foundation will consist of helping the community, reaching out to single and teenage mothers, and making it aware that child abuse is simply taken up. Hey, Shinky Bubba. Hey, Shinky Bubba.